So Sea Lion, the IDE, is that a commercial product or open source or? Uh, yeah, so it is, it's a JetBrains IDE. So the same company as IntelliJ, PyCharm. Okay. Now, is it something that you can use for free or? Yes, I was able to get a student license. You can give it any student ID and it'll give you a, you have to renew it like every year, okay. but it'll give you a year long student license and it gives you free access to all of their products. But if you're using it for a company, then they have commercial licenses you have to pay yes. for? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So tell me about what cool stuff C Lion does compared to other IDEs that you've tried or what makes you go for C Lion? Yeah, I mean I'm I'm a big fan of JetBrains tools in general. They're pretty easy to set up in terms of like your running and debugging configurations. They've got a lot of presets in here for like different types of build tools that you might be using. And I guess in terms of just your code and auto completion features, it plays pretty nice with most libraries that you're going to be using in terms of your options for functions that I can use. It's nicely featured, I think. And it's basically just what I've gotten used to using for lots of different kinds of languages. Each IDE is set up very similarly to each other between PyCharm, IntelliJ, like the features are very similar. So I've kind of gotten used to using this suite for like most languages that I work in. So how would you compare it to something like Visual Studio Code? I guess in like Visual Studio Code, it's mostly like plugins and like extensions based, I feel like. Whereas in all of your JetBrains products, they have like community extensions and stuff. But I think the thing that sets it apart most is you are kind of working on your own in terms of running your code and like in terms of like the setup and like building and running your programs. Mostly you're doing that from the command line by yourself. There's more abstraction done, I feel like in these IDEs where you can like set up a run configuration and then you just have to hit the button. Right. Whereas I feel like most Visual Studio Code extensions aren't quite so good about doing all that stuff for you. 